Hello, this is Steve, Dichroic Glassman. On a previous video considering this series, talking about this Dichroic Glass Hummingbird requiring no heat. It's a cold process, as is in other forms of glass, by Tobin, by Jack Storms. There's a lot of other people that cold work with dichroics, crystals, laminating, faceting. This is one simplistic way of really addressing the same thing. It's ultraviolet lamination or other type of adhesives. But it's basically marrying two components together. A clear bevel cluster like you see down here and real dichroic glass. But a very specialized dichroic glass. A glass that you'll never find as a stock glass. It's a custom glass all the way. And I have mine made for this kit. Here's the bumblebee we were working on and it turned out beautiful. It's interesting about the GST bevels because I've been involved with creating dichroic beauties out of the clear originals. Well, I can't tell you how many of their little critters I've done. This is the first butterfly in a long time and I'm really enjoying myself because there's something different about the butterfly. I've actually seen where GST out of Canada who imports from China, they must have changed their bevelers because I can tell in the pattern it's tighter. See folks, bevels are really made for the lead industry to be lead camed around this. It's really, you got two different views of stained glass. I participate almost 100% in the copper foil arena theater and some people lead. I admire the lead person. Um, that's quite a discipline. I like the copper foil because I like the crisp finite lines. Lead can also do it, but eh, there's just too many things to argue about in a video. Let's look at these beauties. The hummingbird, as always, turns out fantastic. Depending on what angle you view the hummingbird at, and remember it's on a black piece of mat board, you're not getting the real dichroic action out of this. It's pretty, but on a 1 to 10, Mm, it's a three, maybe a four. When you see the light going through it shifting changes, this is blue, a deep blue. That's where things get kind of really interesting. The bumblebee, neat. Keep in mind, plate bevels can be beveled in various colors as we've come accustomed to seeing it in blue and amber and peach, cognac. Um, there's some colors out there, emerald. And plate glass, is quarter plate machine glass. That's your sliding glass door plate glass. But uh, these pieces that GST is doing in these colors, this is out of plate glass, the gray, but not this gold. In fact, I think it's a Kokomo glass that they're getting at 3 16 It's not even quarter. And I think they're beveling Kokomo glass because look at the little seeds in it. Typical signature of Kokomo, it's a good glass. There's nothing wrong with it. It contains a lot of seeds. I have no idea the company they're using. This could be a Chinese glass. But it's the only bevel cluster that I've seen. I don't do all the GST bevel clusters in Dicro. See, this is the only bevel cluster I've seen where they're literally these gold pieces of glass are glass. Well, one, two, three, four, five pieces, even though I've done them in different colors of Dicro. Those five pieces are done in a poured glass. Up oh, this one, yeah, they're all poured. Like Kokomo, Wismock, Spectrum, Bullseye, all those are poured glasses um, versus the plate glass like this window glass. That was machine rolled over a bed of tin. There's actually an up and a downside to regular window glass. You wouldn't need to know that unless you're doing more glass processes. I like messing with all of the coefficients. Actually, I utilize four different dichroic coefficients and have fun with each. But here's the clear one starting to take on its dichroic personality. It's really interesting about this bevel is so far, and I haven't been next to the GSTs for quite a while, the fives. This is a GST five. Um, they fit the tightest. As though, as the mm, pretty close to saying, wow, they were made for copper foil. Yes, they fit the best of these three. Dragonfly, I'm going to be doing next, bringing that back. Um, put, try to get it in this collection before uh, 
these critters go out the door. Um, it's a process, it's a plan folks, where real dichroic glass is utilized in order for us to accomplish these effects. How I teach in my lesson plan of which part of the true, uh, how do you even choose the glass? How do you cut it? How do you, what's the purpose? What's the goal? In my lesson plan kit, we cover a lot of these things and I'm getting ready for a new revision. My lesson plans are privatized videos with links and it's international. International availability, um, as long as you can interpret that English. So, if you're interested, contact me through the uh, email. You've seen my pictures, you've seen my videos. I love doing this. I am dedicated to dichroic, high energy, visual energy, vibrating wavelengths of light, dichroic glass. It's a beautiful thing. Bye-bye.